So hi everyone, we've just taken a, a quick trip into Castello Branco uh, to Maximat uh, to pick up one of these pipes for our lake for the repair that we started the other day. This is our overflow pipe and uh, we're just going to attempt to get that fitted today. At least partially fitted today because we've got rain for the next few days, haven't we? We have, yes. Oh, yeah. We should be able to get it in. Do you think we should? Long. Cool. So that's the idea today is to get this uh, pipe down to the bottom of our land. <laughs> Max has other ideas. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah, the scale that's my index finger. It's got like a little horn on its head. I wonder if it's like fallen out of a tree or... Yeah, possibly. I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? But it's in the same place that you saw it yesterday, Exactly it? the same place, yeah. Max even remembered it was here and came running over. Mm. So yeah, Max and I spotted that last night when we were out on our walk just up here at the top of our land. Um, I did a bit of research, couldn't quite make out if I was correct but I think it was something like the death's hawk moth or something like that uh, but if anybody knows exactly what that is that'd be really cool it's a very intricate looking uh, caterpillar that's for sure uh, which is why I couldn't really find it on the internet but anyway anybody got any ideas what that is it's pretty cool so as well as getting the pipe we got a pack of seed potatoes and they're already starting to chit so I'm going to pop those into the polytunnel and I got two lots of strawberry plants they just look like dead roots at the moment um, but for the life of me I can't remember what varieties the strawberries are no. two different ones maybe we'll have a look next time we go back to Agrilogen try remember what the names <laughs> of each variety is so just bare roots and yeah you just get like a big clump you open them all up and then uh, plant them so that's probably for very early next week once the rains happened over the weekend but we have to get on with the drain job because there's heavy rain tomorrow and then rain again on Sunday so yesterday when we did the repair to the dam, um, what we didn't have was a long enough overflow pipe. And this is what we've been using as a temporary one. And now the two things, the water has, the water level has dropped and we now have our new longer pipe, which is gonna be much more useful. What we don't want is when the water level rises, and overflows into the pipe. We don't want a short one for the water then just to fall out because it'll just wash away all of the good work that we did yesterday. So we have our, what's this? Eight foot, 10 foot long pipe. Um, and we're going to make a deep channel because I want it, I want the water level in the pond not ever to come back up to the high level that it was before that caused the breach. So that's what we're doing now. I'm going to dig our channel out and get this embedded in. And I've got some big rocks and more rocks here to hold it in place uh, with some clay as well. So I've got this end embedded in. This is my uh, entry of my pipe here, which is what a good 30 centimetres lower than it was. Do you say that's 30 mm. centimetres? Um, it's wedged in with lots of big rocks and mud and clay and more rocks. And then I'm just going to finish off this edge here so it's sort of supported a bit um, it's probably a little bit higher than I wanted at the far end there but um, 
at least it's not going to wash away any of the repair that we've done. I think that's the job finished. Um, we've got the drainage pipe in. I've used the little temporary pipe as an extension to take the flow of the overflow of water off past the repair we've made. It is still a bit temporary there because it's just a mud bath down that end at the moment till everything dries out. What we've also managed to do is really securely bury the top of the pipe so it's now much lower than the top of the banks of the pond and we've managed to finish off um, the gabion sort of idea so we've got um, the rebars bashed right in so they're lower than the the ground level and then the chicken wire is pulled back over i've run out of rocks here at the moment i'm getting eaten by the the midges and what have you so i have got another wheelbarrow full of rocks that i can um, wedge into this but i'm done for the day we've got the other side darren's bashed these ones in as well and we've got um, those sort of all weighted down so i feel like it's a really strong repair um, and our overflow pipe even flows in a slightly downward angle which is what we want so we're off now to uh, stop being eaten and uh, have a good evening thank you for watching <laughs>